yeah. So how did, so how did, how did that happen? Yeah, how ten did you years end ago, up? yeah. So one of my uh, student parents, they are working for BlackBerry okay. in Canada. Mm -hmm. So they're asking me how much to pay you as a teacher, yeah? As a salary. So I said, like this, yeah? Like a certain amount. And I said, okay, I can pay you double, but you have to move to Bali because we're looking people that can speak Bahasa and speak English. Mm -hmm. And I said, what is the job? And I said, the job is the very fun. I love the, I think the best job in the world mm -hmm. is just a testing apps. <laughs> so basically you're playing games every single day, testing yeah. the games yeah. in a different type of Blackberry. Mm -hmm. They see it and then you're making a report and then Canada and they send to Canada and then the next day will be in the app store. Oh, nice. So it's totally different with what I'm studying. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's uh, the journey bring me to to Bali. Mm -hmm. So I was working for RIM Canada, for Blackberry Canada for three years, I think, three or four, four years. Yeah. Three years. Until 2015. Okay. And then what happened? And then the company fell down. It's not bankrupt yet because, but it, they want to save the company in Canada. Okay. Because uh, Andrew, it, uh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> I, I said uh, the brand you can, you can uh, because some brand yeah took yeah. over the market <laughs> Indonesia, <laughs> took uh, market Indonesia, so they lose the market Indonesia. So in Asia, mm -hmm. so they they close office in uh, Japan, Thailand, Philippines, and the last is Bali. So yeah, and then I lose the job 2015, and then I don't want to work with people anymore <laughs> because this is the best job. Ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a feature collection was born. Okay. Yeah. So because you lost your job, you yeah. didn't want to work with people exactly. anymore. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then you ended up to with make PJ my own. Yeah. How yeah. did that? How? What was the inspiration behind that? Yeah. Because I was before working for NGO, like for, for environment, for human rights. So I get a lot of uh, knowledge about about environment. And then I saw on the beach a lot of things like uh, timber, bamboo, mm -hmm. wood. So I was thinking, there's something that I can do it, you know, like. Mm -hmm. So and then I, I'm doing searching on Google. And then I met with uh, two guys from Dutch, yeah? They're making a wooden sunglasses and wooden hat mm -hmm. and then I corresponded with them I sent the email and then I said to them hey guys can I make the same product with you but Indonesia because we're dealing something for environment at the time and then they say yes so they send me the all the, the procedure you know mm -hmm. how to make how to make sunglasses and then I transfer to Indonesia and then I give for local for the local so craftsmen's you have local craftsmen working yep. for your business yep and what what else do you make besides uh, bamboo sun glasses? yeah i make a bamboo sunglasses and then bamboo and wood and then i make bamboo and wood watches i make uh, anything that's anything <laughs> tumbler bamboo tumbler yeah like anything anything that bamboo can yeah, yeah so yeah and if i'm not mistaken it's recycled wood actually right? yeah Recy I might also recycle a bag from oh, yeah. yes. from a coffee bean bag. Yeah. Oh, cool. Goni from Goni. Does it yeah. smell like coffee? Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> 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 yeah, sometimes. But after the processing, you know, you have to clean. Yeah. You have to burn a little bit. So yeah. 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 So uh, I understand you. PJ Collections also has a percentage of the profits yep. go towards a foundation yeah every 10 percent mm -hmm. every cell it will go to like it's not foundation yet but uh, yeah. i want to make it one day like pj foundation so every t every uh, every selling for 10 percent will go to pj foundation that every in the end of the month mm -hmm. doesn't doesn't matter how much i get mm -hmm. even one hundred thousand, i will i will make something like cooking and then i give it for for kids in the street, okay. Like spending, if if the money is not is not much because you know sometimes you're not selling, but I still go to the street and. And you do that because. Because I've been there. Yeah. And I want to give something back. Right. I'm not I'm not rich yet, but mm. I want to give something that I have, mm. even small. Yeah. Because yeah. 
So would that say? Would you say that that is your motivation? Because you've been in that tough situation, so you, no matter what, you want to be able to help others. Yeah. Like you know, like uh, we can we cannot help everyone, mm -hmm. but everyone. But can help someone. Yeah, yes. something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that's me. You know, like I cannot. Ever, yeah, and I want to make a, a better world start from the kids because mm -hmm. kids is our future yeah. and then they can they can change the world you know yeah. do you have any stories of what that was like the first time you were sharing foods with the street kids i was crying yeah like with them because because that's my first you know my first action mm -hmm. actually from my business so it's just like one hundred thousand, and then, and then I take from my friends. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I have a lot of friends, and they give also like a little. So and then I I make a blessing bag. So inside a lot of like a toiletry, you know, something like that, and then the food like nasi bungkus is small, mm -hmm. and then at the time only ten. So I went to intersection of a McDonald in Sunset Road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the big one. And then oh yeah, that's yeah, that's problem. a lot. Yeah, there and then and then I I. I start to give for them because I when always alone, yeah. so I cannot take a video or another yeah, one. Okay. You know, like yeah. <laughs> when did this? One. When did you start all of this? 2015. Okay. Slowly, yeah. When the start. So PJ Collections has been around 2015, for five, five years, years yeah, yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. And I understand you also mentioned in the beginning you have Changu Info. Yeah. What is that? Changu Info actually is for fun, <laughs> you know, because I like network. I like, I like, I like to give information for people, you know, and I like to help people mm -hmm. because I want to make something that influence people, you know, mm -hmm. like communities is, is important because when you have a positive community, you can, from the community can make something for the, you know, for the local. Mm you can uh, provide lots of information yeah a lot of information and, like i make uh, a few uh, uh, back a few months ago i make a what it called and then i put in the street like people can put the, oh, the basket the yes. basket yes yeah. actually i wanted to talk about that so yeah. um during the beginning tough times of this right. pandemic yeah this global pandemic yeah. you put up these baskets right all yeah. around the streets on, on and the street yeah I saw it actually in front of my street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. were able to put in food. Food in the basket, and everyone can take it. And yeah. then whoever was struggling yeah, because, can take uh, it. Because sometimes people shy. Yeah. People sometimes, yeah, they pride, of course. And then when you just put something there, and then no one there, and then they can take mm -hmm. it, you know, with, with dignity.